What's going on YouTube, Bird here, and in today's video, we are going over my in-game Power Armor Commando build. But before we get into the video, make sure you smash that like button with the Fault 76, can you can see this? And subscribe for more Fault 76 content. Let's get into it. Starting off everything, the Brotherhood of Steel has sent me to a few locations around the map, that way I can demonstrate just how insanely powerful this build is. And at the end of the video, I'll be showing you my entire build, the weapon itself, and its mods. The first target on our list though is this very vicious super mutant behemoth that goes by the name Arnold. And we're gonna start by blasting Arnold in the forehead. If we can get a shot off, there we go. And just like that, Arnold is no more. Now, let's move on to our next target. The next targets on my list that the Brotherhood is still want me to take down are some dirty super mutants located at the West Tech Research Center. And these guys shouldn't be here because we've cleared this place out tons of times, but they keep on spawning back, so they've got to go. And we're gonna start with that warlord right there. Uh oh. Uh-oh, almost went to the Suicider. Start with the Warlord. I don't know how they don't notice me. I'm a giant clanky robot. There we go. Thought something was going on. Hey, sir, you're going to have to... I'm not going to let you kill yourself. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I told him not to do it. I told him not to do it. He could have backed down any time. Uh-oh. You overlord, you'll stand no chance. One thing I love about being in power armor is that you're super tanky. But I don't know. Those lasers almost killed me. So, I could be talking too soon. But... That I know of, you are super tanky, and you don't have to have any legendary perks whatsoever. Or legendary perks equipped to the armor. Stand down, warlords! That was a late reaction, but he blew up! Is there any more? A demolitioner, you sicko! You stu- Uh oh, I was gonna say, am I out of ammo? You stupid sicko! We're still alive? We got one more super mutant, and there he is. You overlord, you are you are a disgrace to the super mutant race. Now let's move on to our next target. The next targets on my list that the brother is still want me to take down are a bunch of man-eating ghouls located at the Charleston Capitol building. And this place is filled with them, so I gotta be careful. But we gotta clear these guys out and make it safe. That way we can scavenge this area later on. None of my initiates are gonna die. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I heard a legendary, I don't know where he went though. There is a ton of ghouls in here though, guys. So if you're a beginner, this is a perfect place for XP. Keep that in mind. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Look at all these charred ghouls. You stand a no chance. And the defense of this build is absolutely amazing. Now all these ghouls are dead. Now let's move on to our next target. The next target on my list the brother that still want me to take down is my dang Scorched Beast, Charlie. She broke free from my house and was harassing everyone at the White Springs, and the Brotherhood said if I don't take her down, they're gonna do it for me. They also sent Graham to help, but I don't think he's gonna be doing much with his tenderizer. But, Charlie, you get over here right now. Luckily, I have tranquilizing bullets for her, so these aren't gonna kill her. So beware, she's gonna be safe and sound, she's just gonna go 90-90. 90-90, Charlie. Gotta make sure I'm hitting her, though, because we only have 53 bullets left. Stand it down, Charlie. Uh-oh. She's, she's playing games with me. She knows she knows I only have low ammo. Charlie, please do just lay down. We're going to get this done quick, and then we're going to move on to the build for these nice people. Come on, Charlie. Come on. Right about now. Get out of the trees, you stupid scorch beast. And just like that, Charlie is putting up a dang good fight. That's all I've got to say. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. She's going to waste all of my ammo in the stupid trees. This is ridiculous. Okay. Here we go, Charlie. <laughs> and just like that, Charlie is fast asleep. Now let's move on to this build, the weapon, and its mods. Starting off with the build, these are my base stats. These are all the base stats without the legendary perk cards equipped, so if you want to build the exact build I'm using, this is the start. Now let's get into the legendary perk cards. Over in the legendary perk cards, these are all the legendary perk cards that make of the build. As you can see, they're not all max, so there's definitely some room to grow here. But starting off, we have Endurance maxed out, Luck at 2 stars, Strength at 1 star, Intelligence at 2 stars, Far Flung Fireworks at 2 stars, and Power Sprinter at 1 star. These are all the legendary perk cards that make the build, and now let's get into the normal perk cards. Over the normal perk cards, these are all the normal perk cards that make of the build. Starting off in strength, we have 6, and this is so we can have Traveling Pharmacy maxed out. I personally do carry a ton of chems on me, so this card is necessary. Then we have a Blocker maxed out. Take 45% to less damage from your opponent's melee attacks. Over Perception, we have 13, and this is so we can have all the Commando cards maxed out to get the max amount of damage out of this build. Then we have Tank Killer maxed out. Your rifles and pistols ignore 36% armor and have a 9% chance to stagger. Then we have Concentrated Fire at 1 star, and this is so we can target the limbs or head in vats. Over in Endurance, we have 6, and this is so we can have a Ghoulish maxed out. Radiation now regenerates even more of your lost health. We have Fireproof maxed out. 
Take 45% less damage from explosions and flame attacks. Over in Charisma, we have 9, and this so can have a Lone Wanderer maxed out. When adventuring alone, take 20% less damage and gain 30% AP regen. We have Field Surger maxed out. Stimpax and Radway will now work much more quickly. We have Tenderizer maxed out. Make your target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Over in Intelligence, we have 3, and this so can have Nerd Rage maxed out. Wobble at 20% health, gain 40 damage resist at 20% of damage and 15% AP regen. Over in Agility, we have 14, and this so can have Action Boy maxed out. Action Point to generate 45% faster. We have Gunfu maxed out. That swaps targets on kill with a 10% to 20% and then 30% of damage to your next three targets. We have Adrenaline maxed out. Gain a 10% max 60% of damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refreshes with kills. We have Dodgy maxed out. Avoid 30% of incoming damage at the cost of 30 action points per hit. Over in Luck we have 15 and this so can have a Bloody Mess maxed out. 15% bonus damage means enemies may explode in a glory red pace. We have Better Criticals maxed out. Vats Criticals now do a plus 40% to damage. We have Ricochet maxed out. Gain an 18% chance to deflect back some of your enemies range damage. No PvP. We have 4 Leaf Clover at 1 star. Each hit in Vats has a chance to fill your critical meter. We have Starch Genes maxed out. You'll never mutate from rads and right away will never cure your mutations. And we have Critical Savvy maxed out. Critical hits now only consume 55% of your critical meter. But this is it. This is my in-game Power Armor Commando build. And now let's get into the weapon I used and it's mods. Over in the weapon, this is it. This is my 3 star legendary fixer that I used for the demonstrations. And the main legendary effect is the quad effect which is quadruple ammo capacity. Has Vats critical hits do a plus 50% of damage. And also has the breaks 50% slower. Now this gun is absolutely phenomenal in my opinion, and the mods I went with is a Prime Automatic Receiver, Aligned Long Barrel, Forceful Stock, Perforating Magazine, Reflex Sight to Dot, Suppressor, and Judgment of Set Paint. Now you do not need this exact gun to have a fantastic time with the build, though I do recommend it because the fixtures are amazing. But this is it. This is my in-game Power Armor Commando build with my fantastic in-game weapon. And guys, if you enjoyed the Fall 76 content and you want to see more, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe for more Fall 76 content, and guys, I shall see you in the next one. Peace.